so today I'm going to show you how to make your very own biscuit mix. So to make your own biscuit mix, we're going to start out with nine cups of flour. And I have that already in my bowl. And to that, you're going to add a third of a cup of baking powder. Then you add four teaspoons of salt. And what you want to do is just blend that together. I'm using a pastry blender here. But if you don't have a pastry blender, you can also use a fork or a whisk just to whisk everything together. And once that's all nice and combined, I'm going to add one and three quarter cups of shortening. And this is an organic shortening that I picked up at Whole Foods, but um, you can use traditional shortening, which would be like Crisco or something similar. Um, so what you want to do is make sure that you get the shortening worked into the flour. And I'm just using a fork to kind of um, get it incorporated initially and using a fork to scrape um, the shortening off of my pastry blender. So I'm just working that in and it's going to take maybe one or two minutes just to work it in with the pastry blender. Um, what you want it to look like is um, small pieces of fat distributed in between the flour. So just keep mixing and then once it's all mixed up I just clean off my pastry blender and give it a final stir with a fork and that's what it looks like when it's all done. And when it's finished you can just put it into a plastic bag labeled with biscuit mix and on my bag I actually have the recipe for pancakes because that's what I make with the biscuit mix the most. You can find more recipes using this biscuit mix on my website at kaleshablair.com. Thanks for watching.